Revelation 573. From the 6th of September 1938. Eternal Kingdom. Bridge. Pillar. Distress and Tribulation. Hear the divine voice and prepare to receive a proclamation that shall completely captivate you. Behold, an eternal kingdom will arise for you, but this will never be understood earthly. All power in the universe, which is nevertheless divine power from the beginning, will unite for extraordinary work, and indeed a bridge will be built from the beyond to earth, which all my children are to enter to reach me. Where the state of the spirit is close to maturity, there I will raise the pillars of the bridge, and I myself will descend to you to be among you at all times. But this time is no longer far away, only a cloudy period of time must still occur first, to bring about a clarification of who wants to confess me as my child or deny me. This time of trouble and affliction will take on unimagined dimensions, and many will tremble who believe to stand firm. But in my ranks no anxiety will arise, because those who come with me to earth, will always be with mine as givers of comfort and strength, and those who always carry my word in their hearts, will enter the kingdom of peace. But when the Lord of heaven and earth himself will enter the bridge that leads to you, then all those to whom I have promised this, will see me. Then a time will have come upon you which will bring refreshment, comfort and peace to him who hopes for this from me. But woe to those who have turned away from me and to whom my voice will not sound sweetly. When the time is near, my love will remain among you who are mine to help you against those who deny their Lord. Every hour will then be precious, because I save everyone who calls for me in his distress. And I send out my messengers so that every lost sheep is found when only the will still demands me. Mankind still has to come into visible distress before it directs its eyes to Jesus Christ, the crucified. And therefore the time of suffering of the earth is not yet over. But you shall recognize in everything that the Father in heaven remembers his children and leaves no stone unturned to win them over. Therefore let yourselves be found by me and listen to my call from above. I will make you happy forever if you love me and follow my voice. The eternal home is only with me, and whoever wants to build an eternal kingdom on earth must ask for my help, but this eternal kingdom can only be the Father's kingdom, there the Father wants to receive you, therefore take care only for this and leave all your earthly worries because they are not of the least use for your soul. And so continue, legions of angels of heaven will descend to earth and try to bring light to the people, and the whole army of these spiritual beings will ignite a storm among the people. Everything that can think will be drawn into a world conflagration, which however only applies to the spiritual chaos. The disputes will not end. Everywhere the fight will rage, because one will face the work of God partly with astonishment, partly with rejection, but forces will express themselves on all sides, and God will make himself known through the people. And they will begin to think, who did not pay attention to the spiritual direction until then? And this time will be the time of the maturity. And good for him who has sown in due time. When then the hosts of heaven will come, then the new time begins. The time of the eternal peace. Amen.